to the Learning the Elements Through Illustrator video series. Each of these pages we'll be creating through this project will correspond with a different element of design. If you are interested in detailed plans, worksheets, and project outlines for this unit, go to digitalartteacher.com to learn more. In this video, I'll be covering using the text tool. And at the end of the video, I'll give you specific instructions on what you'll need to have completed before you move on to the next one. The last video set up how to use the text tool. So now it's time to look into how to change fonts and see all the possibilities you have available in the character panel. And at the end of the video, I will give specific instructions on what you need to have completed before you move on to the next one. You should have two layers here, lines and headlines. Make sure before we begin that you have the lines layer locked and that you have the headlines layer selected You'll know that it's selected because it is blue in color. Now we're ready to select that text tool. And instead of having that line show up through our text tool, you'll see that it just says anchor and the box remains. So you click there and you have our nice lorem ipsum and type line. Now this is all well and good, but we want to change this so it looks a little bit more like a headline. So select the selection tool, and you'll notice this bounding box shows up around your word. That makes it so that we know it's selected. And up here you see the character panel, but we'll just click up here. And here we have our fonts, and then this one shows us the different options for that font and lots of other things. We'll talk about these in just a minute, but let's say we wanna change our font. When we click here, we get this pop up here. This is a really handy tool for choosing fonts in your program. If you hover over any font, you can see it change on your document page. So you can scroll through these and find the font that you want. And once you click on it, it will activate the font and there it is. But let's say that you've scrolled through all of these and you have not found the right font. It just isn't there. Well, Illustrator has this find more option and these you'll have to be connected to the internet, but these will allow you to download fonts from online. And there are a lot of options. And if you have a slow computer, it might take a minute for it to load as you're going through them. So you find one that you like, and if you click on it, it'll say click activation. Let's do it again. Click activation to add your font. So here's how you activate your font. You click on that font and you say, yes, I want to activate this font. Then you'll see this double arrow and you wait and it will tell us that it has been activated. And now you have a check mark instead of this arrow. So now you can click on that font and you can see that it has downloaded this Alhambra font. Some other options here, you can favorite some fonts. And once you have a few favorites, then you can come in here into your favorites menu and see them. And you can also find similar fonts. So that's not quite the one I want, but there's several that kind of look like it and here they are and maybe I want one of these better. Then of course, there's a few more filters that you can play with. This one has specific classifications or categories of type and properties of type. So if you wanted all thick or heavy weighted ones, that's a handy thing to see. And these ones are specific classifications or categories, which is something that we're gonna talk about in a later lesson, script, decorative, handwritten, and so on. And then of course, here's your favorites. And these are the ones that I have used recently. And these are only my activated fonts. So I can have one of these selected or I can have several of these selected. But if you have them selected, just realize that they are selected so that you don't come in here and think, where are all my fonts? They're still there. Last thing on this one is you can change the selected font if you wanted to, to something else. Or you could make your text smaller if you wanted to see more fonts at a time or larger if you wanted to see the font larger. So I've selected the font that I want. 
Now let's look at our other options. For this specific font, there is no bold or italic. So that's something to think about as you're searching through fonts. This one, of course, makes it so that you can change the size of your font. I do think that you should increase the size of your font. 38 looks pretty good for me. You don't want it to be too close to the top of your page, but you want it to be large enough so that it looks like a headline. This one only has to do with text if you have like a paragraph because it changes the spaces in between your text. So for example, I have increased the space between. So when I type, they're going to be really spaced out between the lines. So that doesn't really matter if what you put it on, it's not going to affect one line of text. This one doesn't apply to what we're working on. This one will stretch. Oh, I had to have selected. Here we go. This one will stretch your text. This one will make your text taller. This one makes your text wider. And this one is only effective if you have more text because it just makes it so that part of the text is higher than the other part. So that doesn't really matter for us. We'll put it back to zero. You can also tilt your text and make it capital, which my text already is capital, so that doesn't matter at all. You can have small caps. You can make it a superscript or a subscript. You can underline it and you can cross it out. So you can play around with these options. Just know that when you finish with this headline, your settings for the text will stay the next time you use the text tool. So this is the same as what I had selected. And I don't think if I'm writing text here in a paragraph that I'm gonna want it to look like that. So when you do a new text box, you will want to come in here and reset the panel. So that gives you all of those default settings. Now, go through each of the pages and add a title. You're gonna have shape, color, value, texture, and space. And choose your favorite fonts for these six words. Just make sure that you make the word large enough so that it looks like a headline. So to recap here, we created titles for all of the artboard pages that you created with line, shape, color, value, texture, and space. And you changed the fonts and styles for each of the titles as desired. If you like this video and you want more resources, go to digitalartteacher.com to learn more. And I'll catch you in the next video.